Well, welcome to my video. It's been a little while since I posted a project that I was working on. So here's a project that I just finished. It's the charge point EV charger. Uh, it's the home version. And this is the hardwire series. So I have uh, coming from underneath the house all the way on the other side of the house, I have three wires. So that was one question that I couldn't find an answer to is, do I need to buy three wires or four wires? This system requires two leads and a ground. So I have my black, my red, and you can do black and white if you want to, but I did black and white and then my ground. And then I grounded with the lug ground, the uh, ground wire, so you strip it right around the edge, if you can see it right there, strip it right around the edge, and then just ground the lug. They call it ground in the box. This is all plastic, so it's not really ground in the box, but it's the proper way to do it. And then I have um, these wires here, they just, they just simply clip right in, so um, that's connected to the charger, the charger head. So those wires already come and that's what I was getting confused when I was doing this research is that if these four wires are coming off, is that the feed or is it, is it the lead or is that the, uh, or is that the charger? And so anyway, I wanted to make a video on, on how that works out. Uh, you run at least 40 amps capability on the wire. I chose 55 amps because maybe later on I might hook up a Tesla charger which is going to require uh, at least 50 amps for a home install and so that's why I went with the THHN 8. So this is 8 gauge wire and you can use also Romex if you want to. Romex is going to be uh, AGW6 because that is what I think goes up to 45 amps no no it goes up to 50 55 amps also sorry I'm going off of memory so you'll need at least Romex 6 or THHN 8 to hit the 40 amp uh, requirement for the wire and then obviously you hook these up to your two leads on your breaker and then this goes to your ground bar. So anyway, just thought I would put a little video together to show how I hook it up.